New details tonight in the human smuggling case KXAN News has been covering since early this morning. Let's you get you caught up uh, really quickly here. Investigators say they were tipped off that people in this southeast Austin mobile home were being held against their will and were being harmed. Police sources tell KXAN News of the 28 men and women found here, two were separated from the group. They might be connected to a smuggling operation. Police believe the rest of the men and women are victims. Hopefully this, this is the last, but unfortunately this investigation, this investigation may lead us to other uh, locations. And now the question, what happens next to those who were found today? For that, KXAN's Kevin Schwaller is live at the Paisano Mobile Home Community, where he has a new look at where these people were. The next step on the investigation is questioning. For now, though, this street is fairly quiet. Neighbors earlier today were checking out this house, and you can get a look inside for yourself. Just imagine 28 people inside here. We don't yet know for how long. The, even the owner of this property tells us he had no idea what was going on inside. I had never seen that much people be in a house at one time. Neighbors poured into the streets after a police raid. Victor Rodriguez watched. They were trying to get them to come out. They were telling them, Come, come out with your hands up, and they were bringing them out one by one because they were they didn't want to come out, and they uh they brought them here and they put them in my driveway and they were um, handcuffing them and everything. Police say an informant tipped them off to the possibility that people in this home were being harmed and mistreated. Police sources believe most of the men and women here were victims in a human smuggling ring and were from Central America. Now they move to questioning. In immigration court proceedings, you don't have an appointed attorney, you don't have a right to an appointed attorney, so if you can't afford legal counsel, you're going to be representing yourself. That's where lawyer Stephanie Taylor and American Gateways comes in. It offers free and low-cost legal help for immigration issues. Taylor says the organization is working on 12 to 15 human trafficking cases so far this year. It's too soon to say if this case fits that description. What happens to the men and women who were in this home depends on those circumstances and the details of the case. Taylor told us she knows of cases where immigrants were promised visas. When they're brought into the United States, their passport is taken from them. They're kept um, um, under lock and key. They're not paid. Um, this is something that happens all the time, unfortunately, in this country. Some neighbors here reacted with sympathy as they thought of the men and women at this home. And what happens for the men and women here depends on what investigators uncover. That will determine their options after this point. Well, Kevin, if those two people who were arrested were in trafficking actually exploiting the other people, what happens then? Well, those people could face charges for the others, possible victims. There's actually something called a T visa that could be available to let some of those people temporarily stay in the country. However, it's still early on in this investigation. We'll keep Robert. following the story. Thank you very much. Kevin Schwaller live in Southeast Austin. Well, this all comes a week after the high profile case in Houston, where federal agents raided a home connected to human trafficking, illegally holding more than 100 people against their will in one house. Investigators believe all of them came to the United United States illegally. Five people arrested, accused of threatening to hurt or kill people held in the house unless their families paid them money. Interesting to note, cases like these could be happening more as officials are noting more people are trying to cross the U.S.-Mexico border illegally. Take a look at the totals over the past several years. Last year, more than 400,000 undocumented people were stopped crossing illegally by the U.S. Border Patrol from Mexico. That is the highest total since 2010.